There is Jake Pelleggi, good run by the new flanker. You know, it's gone kind of skyrocketed from, from here at Hartbury and then, um, you know, playing National One. Um, and then going over to Gloucester and, and playing their Premiership, and then you know the next thing was was Connor on the phone, you know, saying there could be a chance for a Six Nations call up. I knew that my grandfather was um, actually born in Abertillery, so um, you know that was something that we, we could have explored. But you know, at the same time, when someone rings you up and says, you know, you've got a chance to play here in the Six Nations, you know, snap his hand off. He's been the captain for X amount of years and, and, and been the leader and, and almost the kind of guy that people go to um, in terms of players. You know, that's the kind of person you turn to and any problems or any issues, that's, that's him. In the, I think in the gym we had um, a complete sing-song for all the Welsh boys. So we've got Louis, who's obviously the younger, and then we've got Owen, who's just come back from injury. So in terms of that, it's, it's great for both of them. What did you sing? Uh, we put the uh, bread of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so we stuck that on in the gym and they were both yeah, buzzing for it, so it was good. He's uh, well, also known as Speedy, so I think it, it speaks for himself, really, but he's got crazy amounts of speed and give him a bit of space and he'll take it. I'm sure we'll see each other on the pitch, and um, if he does get that opportunity, it'd be great to see, and obviously it'd be good to be involved as part of his debut as well. I think, you know, it's difficult timing in terms of the new coach. So obviously, we're hoping that goes well, but there's always that kind of, you know, doubt, but you know, I've, I've got no doubt in myself that it's going to go well. For us, it's just about being not being seen as that, that team that people either put a weaker team out or that underdog. We want to be that team that you know could, could t turn you over if you not you don't turn up. The Six Nations in general to the build up to the, to the first game is, is 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 amazing. And yeah, to have it in Wales as well, we know that the atmosphere is brilliant. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a big challenge. But again, looking forward to it. So that was Jake Pelledry, who has Welsh ties on his father's side. Now we go to someone else who has Welsh links in Franco Smith, Italy's new head coach, the same Franco Smith that played for Newport in the late 90s. I think there's a lot of expectation around Italian rugby. Uh, it feels like uh, most people are expecting a little bit more from what the uh, from a results point of view, and I, and I can understand that. You know, I've been involved with uh, Italian rugby for a bit, and I understand that there's the same passion. So. It's a big challenge to, you know, to satisfy that expectation. But an exciting start, though. I think I've got a good idea what Wayne's about and how he likes to play. Um, well, obviously, I don't think the, the DNA of Walsh rugby will change completely. I think it will just be a, a, a add-on to what they've brought so far in the World Rugby. So, looking forward to going there. I think it's a real privilege to start in, uh, in Cardiff, it's a beautiful stadium and the public support is amazing, so great experience first up. So Nicky, many have tried and failed.